Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, we've got a busy day today. We've got five folds that are ready to be revealed. So we're going to do that first and then I'm going to show you a couple of stallions that I picked up for um, further breeding. Um, I picked them up in the trailer here. First let's get on with the breeding. So we have five foals ready. Let's reveal them right away. Oh my gosh, where's it gonna be? Ooh! Oh my gosh! Well, this is my crossbreed! This is my um my fjord cross um warm blood, okay. Oh my gosh! What colour is that? Is that Palomino or Donnellino? <gasps> I think I love it! It's got a little star that's from Safi! Safi has a star as well. Oh my gosh, I think I'm in love with this horse! I have really, really wanted a Donnellino. In fact, I'll Okay, I'll let it slip now. I, I bought a Donnellino um, stallion, but let's see what this one looks like <laughs> when, when we get to actually um, inspect it in the stable. So let's send this one to the stable. Again, I'm just going to like give them a name, a generic name, and then just um, actually name them properly later with your guys' names. So I'm just going to call this one like one or something. Okay, so that was fall one. I love how it looks. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know why it always wants to send me to the stable when I've got more foals to reveal. Also, I keep doing this thing where I'm trying to like swipe the screen across when I need to actually press up here. I don't know if you guys do that as well, but I'm like swiping, swiping and it's not doing it. Oh, it is doing it now. Weird. Okay, a foal has been born. Ooh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, is, what colour is this? Is this Grulo or Smoky Black? If it's Smoky Black, I, I think I have to keep it. I didn't even see what if it was Mare or Colt. <gasps> I think I love it. Not many leg markings coming out, but this little snip is so cute. Oh my gosh, Let's send this one to the stable as well. All right, so that one's off to the stable and we will carry on. Look, it went, oh yeah, it does let me do it. I, I perhaps wasn't swiping hard enough. Okay, right. Um, a foal has been born. Let's reveal. What's it gonna be? <gasps> oh, it's a col- I'm loving this color as well. Is this one from Topaz? I'm not quite sure. It's got the star in the snip light like topaz. These colours are being really, really cute. These are just my sort of colours that I've been having so far, so I'm really happy. Um, let's send this one to the stable as well. Alright, we're doing good so far. I'm actually really happy with that first crossbreed. Um, so, oh, let's see what else we've got. We've got two more left. I get so excited that I forget to read whether it's a mare or it's a colt. Okay. Ooh, I like the bay colour. Again, no leg markings. I'm not really getting many leg markings at all. Um, this is a really nice bay, but we will see because I have too many stallions. You're going to see this problem a bit later when we go to my stable. We have too many stallions, but I really like the bay colour. It's a deep bay. Fold 54 if only, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we really do need more stable slots. I don't know how we're meant to actually create whole lines with only um, 16, I believe, horses allowed in the stables. So yeah, uh, I think they need to give us at least another, what, like 10 maybe, I think. All right, this is the last one. Fingers crossed, let's reveal. Oh, it's a black one. This must be from Zombie, right? Zombie and um, the met the black mare. It's got a little star. I'm loving that. Okay, um, so this one is the last one. <laughs> I'm so bad at typing. Uh, right, so we are going to go to the stable now. Yes. 
and um, we're going to have a little look at these guys so let's go all the way down you can click down here and go all the way down but I'm just gonna swipe my way along swipey swipey swipe swipe all the way down so these are oh okay so first of all before we look at the foals um, you guys um, gave me some names so the um, I will put up who gave me the names for each of these thank you so much as you know I have trouble naming them off the bat um, so this mare I ended up calling Dakota this mare is called Beauty there are a couple of people actually suggesting Beauty for this one so as it seems a popular um, choice I went with Beauty for this one this is one of my new stallions <gasps> Okay, so he's called Greg right now. I probably won't keep this, but he's a Donnellino. And um, he is cold. Uh, I don't like that. But I'm hoping to breed from him and get something, like, balanced or hot. And look, guys. Look, he's got eight in jump and two in mentality. Um, I'm not, like, overly keen with... Um, I mean, this is good, but, like, some of these are laid back which means he's going to be even harder to control um, careful which is good and brave so they're not too bad two of those are really good uh, but he is cold and I, I really don't like that but um, he's over 700 potential and I do kind of want my horses all to be over 700 potential at least um, that's my goal that I've decided in the last like couple of days so any horses that I have that are below that will be potentially ones that are going to be sold on through breeding um, or ones that I bought previously to be replaced with ones that I've bred. So uh, if horses are under 700, if they ain't got good um, stats over here, then they, you know, they're, they're probably going to be sold. So um, I really like him. Yeah, he's a, a dark Donnellino and I bought him, I think it was uh, last night or today. And um, yeah, oh, I really wanted this colour. I think it's so pretty. I gave him some tack, which is not showing, but that's okay. So yeah, I did put some tack on him, but obviously it didn't save. Why is my game being stupid? Okay, so the game isn't letting me swipe my horses along for some reason, but I just came out and came back in. So let's keep going. So this, um, oh, let me just quickly show, before we look at these properly, let me just show you the other um, stallions that I found. So this is a thoroughbred I'm planning on breeding as well. I may not keep him, but I want to certainly breed from him and get a horse with a little bit of a thoroughbred mix in there. Really pretty colour. I like the badger face markings and the... Um, blue eyes and all the socks and everything really cute um, so he has got seven in jump he's very hot and he's got responsiveness responsiveness and he has two in turn ability which is really needed with thoroughbreds because they have really bad turn ability and I did notice that when I was um, jumping with him uh, but his potential is not great it ain't great at all but he's very pretty and he has good stats over here so that's why I want to breed from him and then sell him on as I can't keep him because I don't have enough stables. Again his name is um, from you guys so thank you very much. Uh, Harlow is one that we bred last time where I think those were the two stallions that I bought yeah those were the two stallions that I bought okay so moving on to the foals. So, what colour is this? I think it's Grudo, right? Lobo Dunn! <gasps> Lobo Dunn. I have not had this colour before. Okay. 740 potential. Wow. Balanced. Great. Loving that. Over here, we have strength, speed, responsi responsiveness, and turnability. So, there isn't anything in jump, but there is quite a high jump potential there anyway. Um, oh, it has two encounter as well. You know what? I'm actually kind of loving this mare and I may keep her. Let's see who she was from. So, Fauna and Topaz were her grandparents. Mare One, which has been renamed <laughs> now, and um, Milton. So she has a nice little pedigree going on there. <gasps> Swedish one with a grey, so a uh, bay done and a grey made a grey done loving that so I know that I could possibly get this result again if I bred from them again I just got to figure out who was mare one so I need to actually name these mares before I breed them it looks like because it will save them even though if you change the name so I will have to do that so I can keep track um wow okay so I think I'm really happy with this one she'll look really good in some tack and everything maybe um 
a nice red or something, but I don't actually have red, so I have to find something else, or like black or white or something. Would look really good on her. I'm happy with her. Loving it. Okay, right, let's move on. Fall three. Okay, so let's firstly see who you were from. Popcorn and Topaz. Topaz, my boy. And um, let's look at your potential. So 730 potential. That's really good. She's balanced. He, sorry. He, he, he. It's a boy. Uh, mentality, strength, and walk. Uh, I would really like something in jump, but that's fine. With 730 potential, I'm ha I'm happy with that. Um, oh gosh, he's lovely. He's lovely, guys. Oh, it's from Topaz as well. Oh, what is the actual colour? Let's just check. Smoky grey done. Oh, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with the colour. Oh my gosh, a nice replacement for um, Topaz. I mean, because we're going to get aging soon and I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with that, like um, when they get retired and stuff. Like hopefully we get to keep them because I actually paid real money for Topaz and Milton. So I, I hope I, I don't lose them because that would be real money that I have paid that I would lose and I'd be really pissed off. Okay, so um, let's look on to the next one. Fall 5, let's see who you're from. Lulu Milton, Mare 3, and Zombie. Yeah, I knew it was from Zombie. Okay, right, let's go back and look at your potential. 724. I'm getting really good potentials. I'm happy with this. Two and jump. She's hot. Oh, this is a keeper. This is a keeper. 725. Oh my gosh. I'm really happy. Responsiveness plus two and speed. Jump has got two in it. Nice. Another, oh this is a stallion, oh okay, my boys and my girls mixed up here, so this is a boy, this is a boy, sorry the excitement is getting to me a little bit. So this is a boy, I might keep this and uh, sell on zombie actually, because zombie was not bred by me, so I might uh, sell on zombie and keep his, his baby, yeah I might well do that, because I want to keep horses that I've bred more than horses that I've bought, if you know what I mean. So, wow, fall five, a boy. Gonna need names for these guys. So, I'm guessing this one is gonna be from um, Mambo. Right, let's see, yeah, Mambo, Zombie. Okay, 709 potential, I can see there already. So not too bad, this is again a boy. I'm probably gonna sell this one. This one's gonna be sold, I think, because I would rather keep Mambo right now. Yeah, we're, we're just going to go ahead and sell this one straight away. It was very pretty, but a little bit boring because if it had had like leg markings, it would have been a bit more interesting. But okay, so <laughs> this is my crossbreed. This is my crossbreed. And it's hot with uh, 693 potential. That's because um, Safi is quite low. Ooh, okay. I'm a little bit disappointed with that. So yeah. Oh, pumpkin. It was from Pumpkin. I thought it was from Safi. Yeah, because 656 and 697, they were both below um, 700 potential. But we did get somewhere like in between there with 693. It is a Donnellino and it is a crossbreed. Oh gosh. I don't know whether to keep this one. It is a Stallion as well. Mm. I'm going to have to think about this one. I'm going to have to think because I want to keep it and it is cute and it's a really nice crossbreed but I do prefer this Donnellino so I have two which I oh gosh I, I'm torn I don't know what to do my cross it is a really nice cross though it's a, a nice if you compare them you can actually see the difference you can see the um, the fjord in there for sure a little bit thicker in the neck and the body Sorry if I'm hurting your eyes flicking between these two. I'm just comparing them. But wow, okay, that is <laughs> that is really good. Um, luckily, when I breed again, I don't have to um, decide just yet which ones I'm going to keep and which ones are going to go because I can breed without the stable slots being available. So I have time, two days or however long it takes to breed to figure out which ones I'm going to keep and which ones are going to go. But overall, I'd say my favourite ones that I've bred. This one, really nice. 
fold two, fold three I'm loving as well. Um, I have to be careful that I don't have too many stallions. I also really like fold five and I actually do love my crossbreed although I will try again. I will try again with the crossbreed. I'm going to breed my thoroughbred and I'm going to again I'm going to breed um, my fjord which I think I kept Safi and I sold on pumpkin. I have I have had to make some real serious decisions with who's staying and who's going. Um, it's been really tough um, juggling everything with the stable sorts that we have available. Oh, okay, so um, let's go do some breeding. Uh, but first, first I just wanna take an overall look at um, what I've got going on here. We have the folds here that I kept. I kept fold one, fold two, fold three, and fold five one of which is a crossbreed. We need to decide whether we're keeping Greg or Fall 1 because they are both stallions to keep on the um, Donnellino line. And then I'm definitely going to keep Fall 2 and then Fall 3 and Fall 5 I'll need to decide because they are both stallions and I can't have too many stallions. But looking good so far, I've got to be careful about inbreeding, even though the game won't let me, but eventually, you know, you're going to have to bring in stallions to bring new blood into the, the lines. So that's where I'm at right now. Uh, let's go breed. Alright, here we are. Here we are again. This will be the third round of breeding that I've done. First up. Let's see here. The game is a bit slow at this bit. I don't know why. Alright, so I'm going to do another crossbreed. I'm going to do Safi. Now the problem with Safi is she has really low overall potential. Um, this is where she's at right now, but um, her actual potential is quite low. So hopefully I can get something good from her. If I breed with someone with a high potential. I'm just wondering who will be the best. Let's see what the colour matches might be. Wow. What's going on here? Okay, so this looks like... um That might be Don either Donnellino or Palomino. Red Dun. What would that be? I have no idea. Buckskin or something? Cremello maybe? And then 20... This Dice thing, which I don't know what that is. Is that like a... I have no idea. Shall I breed these two maybe? Maybe, maybe? Let's have a look at uh, the other options. What would happen if I bred um, this one? So it would be 25% Swedish warm blood and 75% Fjord. Yeah, again, they're not related. Um, I thought this foal was from Safi, but it was actually from Pumpkin who I sold on. So this is Pumpkin's little boy. It's actually really interesting to look at the comparison of, um, you know, what they look like and everything. With the builds, and I think they did quite well with the crossbreeds with um, merging how the two horses look. Ooh, should I breed these two? I'm kind of tempted to. I was really hoping to get this um, this fjord mane on a um, on a horse though, so maybe I'll do maybe I'll do another one. What about Greg? Hmm, they might get some good results. I am gonna shop around just a little bit more. What would Milton? Ooh. Some cool colours going on here. Should I do these two? Hmm. Hmm. Potential of getting up to 780. Imagine getting a horse of 780 potential. That would be crazy. I might try these two. I just want to do this one carefully because this is the crossbreed. And the crossbreeds I want to be quite careful about. Not too many options here with the colour. I am quite tempted to do these two as well. Oh, it's hard. It's tough deciding. Oh, the red dun is coming through quite a lot. Kind of want to save Topaz for another Swedish warm blood though. Or there is zombie. 
You know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go for one that gave a lot more coat um, variations. Who was it? Wait, these ones. I could use some of these new ones. Ooh. Ooh. Should we do this? Because then that would be like another generation. Yeah, let's do this because this has got a lot of coat variations here and this like dice thing, which I don't know what that means, but I'm interested to find out. So let's do these two. Oh, that took forever. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't change the name. You know what? I will be right back. Hang on, hang on. I had to quickly go and grab some names from the last video that I posted that you guys commented and I renamed some of the horses so Rinsk is one. I will pop up the comments that you guys made to show who suggested what name. So I've done all that so we will then get their names in the pedigree. This one might not work because I did it before I changed the name but that's fine. Let's go to the second one. We're going to do five again. We're going to do another crossbreed here. So let me just pick the stallion first. I really wanted to use Infinity. He has a lovely face marking. Maybe that gets passed on. Maybe he doesn't. We'll find out. And he is thoroughbred. Who should I breed him with then? Ooh. What about Noelle? She's a new one. Wow, lots of like coat variations here going on as well. I'm, I'm loving this. Um, potential of getting up to 790. Woo! Okay. Um, yeah, let's do these two. Cool. That was a nice and quick one. Next one. I'm going to pick the stallion first. I want to use um, Prince. Prince, definitely Prince. Okay. He's my crossbreed. And... What about Popcorn? Oh no, I can't use her just yet. She's still recovering. Okay, um... Oh my gosh, uh, all of my mares are busy recovering. You know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to wait 23 minutes for some of these mares to become available. So the mares that will be available will be Harlow, Dakota and Popcorn. So I will be back again in 20 minutes. I will be right back by the magic of YouTube. Okay, so I waited 20 minutes or so and now my mares are ready to breed. Recap, we have Prince and we're going to breed him with someone. So let's pick a mare. Now, hmm, I could have one of the new ones or Popcorn. Noel and Safi are busy. Let's see what popcorn would produce. Ooh, so there's a red done. These look like palominos and cremellos. I'm really not sure. Tempted, but maybe looking for something a little bit different. I don't know. What about beauty? What would beauty produce? These are all kind of... Oh, so this is quite a dominant... That's uh, I think that's another Donnellino. Yeah, I'm going to do these. Let's do those two. Beauty and Prince. So that's going to be another crossbreed going on there. And I have two left. Now, ooh, I kind of want to do um, Topaz again. Topaz and Harlow. 50-50 for a colour. Mm, maybe something a bit more interesting. Popcorn looks a bit more interesting, so let's do those two. I swear, if I get a dinosaur tail again out of two horses that don't have dinosaur tail... Ah! Okay, not that I particularly hate the dinosaur tail, I just think the other ones are like prettier. And the last one. Alright, so we've got to pick carefully because this is our last one. We have a nice choice of um, stallions here. I'm going to have to sell a few stallions because I've got too many. Um, Who should we choose? Stella. Um, okay, so Stella is like 
are kind of off black, right? So what would who should we be Stella with? Let's have a look here. I can only choose Dakota for Stella. Let's see Milton maybe, or we could do Greg. Let's see Milton. Milton. Oh, I've only got Dakota left, so Dakota is definitely going to be the mayor. So Milton and Dakota. What would Zombie produce? I kind of want, I'm kind of interested to see. That's 50-50. Or we could maybe do Mambo again. That's oh, that's 75-25. Or there's Greg. 50-50. I think I'm going to go for Milton because there's three different uh, colours that might be available here, 50% grey and then 25% for the other two. So I'm going to do those two for my last one. We did it! Yay! Finally! So Dakota and Milton, then we have Topaz and Popcorn, Beauty and Prince, my crossbreed, Noelle and Infinity, the thoroughbred, and Safi and Rinsk, which will be another um, crossbreed going on there. So, oh, I'm very excited to see what these ones turn out like. I've got a lot of deciding to do over which horses stay and which horses go, as usual. What do you think, guys? Do you, how many stable slots do you think we need um, to make breeding um, a bit more um, easy? Um, not so tough decisions, having to get rid of horses and whatnot. How is your breeding going? Do let me know. And I will see you in the next episode to reveal these foals and let you guys know what I've decided as in who stays and who goes. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.